Oh ho, dinky do my hearties. A very, very good evening to you. It's me, it's Scotty McClure. It's Saturday night, 10 o'clock. Nothing gets past me. And here we are live with the phone in. This is just incredible. We're on YouTube. We're on Facebook. We're on Twitch, Scotty underscore McClure. Get following on there. And, of course, we are live right across these wonderful platforms. We're also on LinkedIn. And we've just been joined by the TikTokers. How amazing is that? Hi, Scotty. Hi, Martin. <coughs> <coughs> Lovely to have you with us. And a very warm welcome to our Saturday night. Now, we're off to the telephones. Let's just see who we've got here. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Thank you, dear Scotty. It's Kareem. Hello. Ah, Kareem. How lovely to have you with us. You were, you were, you've done very well to get on first because you've got <laughs> competition. Absolutely. I know. I know I need to be on my mark. <laughs> how are you tonight, Kareem? Lovely to hear you. Not too bad, thank you, Scotty. It's, it's fight to take the dogs out later on, but it's bucketing from the heavens here. Well, I've just heard the rain outside. I thought, that sounds like heavy rain. I think yeah. everybody should stay in and watch the phone in. <laughs> Absolutely. And as, again, I'll be putting you on the big screen after this phone call. Oh, I'll listen, Kareem, thank you for that. That was amazing the other night. What does it look like? Does it look okay? I like it because basically I've got you in the background and I'm listening to you, but I can read all the comments as well that people are doing. Right. And make comments and, you know, it's just... It's, now, can it's you like see it. all the live chat then? Yes, I can see the live chat on my phone, but I've got you on the, the backgrounds on my own. Oh, fantastic. So, your phone, so, seeing YouTube, when you look at the people watching you just now, Scotty, on their phone on YouTube, at the top right-hand corner, it's like a, a box. And if they press that box, it can transfer onto their TV if they have a smart TV. Ah, so they can live cast it or say or something like that. Yes. So, yes. that's it. How so fantastic. It's, it's, Kareem, it's, we haven't even scratched the surface with all this, and it's just amazing. There's people, yeah. you see, I've got people on TikTok. Are you a lawyer? There's people following us here on TikTok. It's fantastic. Everybody's on here sending TikTok. Hello, TikTokers. Hello, TikTokers. Hello, TikTokers. <laughs> this is Kareem. You're hearing live on the phone in. Fantastic. <laughs> zippity doo scott a clue There's somebody from Pennsylvania, Kareem. Ah, you see, so it's, yeah, it's just wonderful stuff. And of course, Pennsylvania, if I remember right, was where Andrew Carnegie set up his steelworks. Ah, right, okay. So Pennsylvania oh, called after William Penn. Right, okay. Just oh. never a dull moment. Now, Kareem, I've also done a little bit of housekeeping today. I've Excellent. altered the title slightly. So it's now Scotty McClue, the internet, phone in, hashtag floatai. Do you think that's okay? Yes, absolutely. Yes, yep. because yep. it is the internet phone in. And if I'm honest about it, up until now, there's about 1,700 Scotty McClue videos in the video uh -huh. library on YouTube. And up until yes. now, it was really just somewhere to park the videos. But I think that's now changed dramatically. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. I think it's, it's great. And it's... The videos are good to have them on in the background. If you're doing your cleaning, if you're doing your washing, you can have a wee listen. Um, it's all there for people, and it'll be there for years to come as well. It's, it's, it's really good. It's fantastic. And, you know, we'll build up the platforms. We might add extra platforms as time goes on. Absolutely. And yes. a lot of people inquiring. I mean, you've been so generous since the start. You're always popping in a pound and a fiver and these things. But a lot of people asking, how do I contribute to it? And I said, well, yes. thank you. You don't have to. I make that clear. I say, no, no, I want to. Yes. I think the first thing, Scott, if someone asks you that, then like and share, tell 10 to tell 10. Yes. That's the basic thing they can do. That's the very best thing they can be doing. Do you know what I mean? Uh-huh. Yep. Yes. No, uh, that's excellent. Yes. Well, Scotty, today we were right when we spoke yesterday yes. regarding the, the Orange Walk. We knew there would be trouble. And there has been, yes. you know. Um, and I just, I didn't read too much into it as well, but I know that was a, like, a lot of the, 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 the churches. There was people outside them protecting them. Yes. Uh, obviously, when the, the, the walks were going by. We well, see, nobody should have to be in fear. 
of something like that, there should be yeah. no threat. Uh, oh, I, I, I agree with that completely. Um, if I'm anything, not, it think... should be a festive atmosphere. So uh -huh. there should never, ever be any fear of it because this is some sort of ancient rite going back. When I say rite, I mean R-I-T-E, going back, uh -huh. you know, to, to uh, uh, you know, 330 years, 331 uh -huh. years. Yeah. You know, yeah. Scotland was still independent when this came on here. Yeah. You know, and I'm wondering if Scotland should say, look, we don't really approve of this because people get anxious and some of your people are unpleasant. Uh-huh. Yeah. You know? Yeah. No, I, I understand. I get that totally. And there is always, I think we said last night as well, that you have the people that are in the walk, that are in the band, they're playing the instruments, they're doing their thing. But it's the people that follow from the streets. It's the people that are, as I call, brain dead, that will just tag along and want the trouble, that want to cause uh, anxiety, that want to vandalise. And it's, it's, it's well, you horrible. see, there I shouldn't be. We need to change this whole way of thinking that you right. reap what you sow. If you put out unpleasantness, nastiness, if you damage anything, that's what you're going to get back. There was a saying yeah. that if you make life all about you, that's all you'll end up with. And it's true. Oh. If, obviously, they've been planning applications for events like this, so that means there'll be people that, or, or some of the groups that will be in charge for the planning. If there's any vandalism, if there's anything destroyed, then they need to pay for that. Yeah, that should be written into it. But let's look at this another way. Councils were banning Christmas trees in case it affected our Islamic brothers and sisters. Uh, right? Yeah. So they were banning Christmas trees. But they're quite happy to let the orangemen walk. Now, do, could that by any chance offend Christian people? Absolutely. What yes, would Jesus What would Jesus society. think of the Orange Lodge? It purports to represent the crown and the Bible. So what does uh -huh. the crown and the Christian churches think of the Orange Lodge? Yeah. That's yeah. what we need to find out. This needs to be discussed in a far, far bigger place. Uh, and that's yeah. why it should be talked about on here. Yeah. yeah. It needs oh, a absolutely. much wider forum. People need to be consulted. Yeah. What yeah. are you representing? Was King yeah. William a good choice? Was he representative of the crown? You know, uh -huh. you know what, what King William was the English... King, what uh -huh. does he have to do with Northern Ireland and Scotland? Yeah, yeah. But I think, Scotty, that requires too much thinking, and I think for some people, they don't really want to do that. They're just more than happy to cause trouble, uh, and it, it needs to be... I think we need to do the thinking. I think the first thing that has to be acknowledged is that we were all Roman Catholic until about 500 years ago, uh -huh. and that... Catholics and Protestants are an identical religion, mm -hmm. absolutely identical. They're part of the Christian faith. What yes. does Jesus think of this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But again, Scotty, a lot of them won't care. A lot of them won't attend the services if they're going to there. As I, I believe, I mean, I don't know enough about it, but I believe that the rules are very strict for orange men. I say orange men. I mean, there are a lot of ladies in the Orange Lodge. I don't know if you can only be an orange man and the ladies go along with you. Perhaps somebody will ring and tell us. We would like that. But Orange person, maybe. An orange person. Now, if you are an orange person, if you're a supporter of William of Orange, who was a dreadful man, there's no doubt yes. about that. But if you're a supporter of, uh, of, of that then, um, you know, things are pretty strict, I think. I think if you do anything wrong, you're out the Orange Lodge. Right. Okay. So I don't think okay. they can have the finger pointed at them as being the vandals or the troublemakers. But we need to yeah. look into it all. Yes. Yeah. But I think it goes back to what I said, Scotty, in terms of you've got the ones that 
see the orange uh, parade coming towards them and they come off the street and they join at the back and it's the trouble starting, you know. And Because I, I do think the ones that are on this walk are pretty much focused when their, their instruments doing what they need to do. Yes. And fine. But it's the people that are jumping on, the brain dead, the zombies, whatever you want to call them, that's me sorry, I'll take that back, that's me being insulting, but that are just there to cause trouble. People of low intelligence who may have the balance of the mind altered by alcohol. So there we are. That's better. That's better than brain dead or brain damaged. Uh, the Church of Scotland tweeted tonight, this is coming from TikTok, uh, that they oppose anti-Catholic bigotry and uh, celebrate, and then it runs out, so I don't know what they're celebrating. And that's from Mr. Solo, who I call Napoleon. Yes. <laughs> oh, I watched a video, Scotty, um, and it's jump it was jumping back to the anniversary of the referendum with twenty fourteen's coming up. Yes. And it's coming up the eighteenth, so in, in actual fact it's today. Ah. I think it was the eighteenth of September twenty fourteen. Fourteen it was, yes. That's right, because I I it was George Square and it showed you George Square the day before the referendum and it was like a camera view and everybody, families were there, they were happy, they were cheering, they were singing, it was just a lovely atmosphere. It showed you the next day, George Square, when it was the the unionists um, coming to celebrate and it was a mixture, but you saw people with the the orange flags, the orange order and the, the union. And was it, it was not nearly a riot? It was night and day, Scotty. Yes. And something I don't understand, and I'm not saying for all of them, but why, when you look at them as well, why do they? Why are they saluting Hitler? How very strange. I've seen a lot of the videos where they're doing the Nazi salute, and I'm thinking, if these people educate themselves to what I don't, I don't understand. And hopefully, well, it might be something, something to do with what they used to call the National Front or something like that. Right. Well, hopefully someone could come on and, and, and explain why it's done. How but very if you ever see the video, it's, it's on social media, or I'll try and link you to it. Yeah. It's night and day. It is absolutely, it, it, it would make you cringe if you see it, actually. Some of the things you actually see. Probably it. made me cringe at the time. Kareem, lovely to have you on. I'd better dash. Yes, thank you. I could it. listen to you all night. Thank you, do, my dear man, and we'll catch <laughs> up soon. There we are. That's our Kareem, and... Uh, Terrific points he's been making tonight. If you've just joined us on TikTok, a very, very warm welcome. God would think the same as a Republican walk. He was a great monarch who brought peace. Angela is a very dodgy character. You're live on Scottish. He didn't bring much peace. You're live on Scottish. Thank you, Scott, Scott, Scott. Hello? Thank you, do, Scott, sir. Thank you, do, Glenn. How are you? I'm good, thanks yourself. Yes, welcome. Lovely to have you with us. Nice what one. about tonight? How good is this? Oh, it's pretty. It's just going to get better, isn't it? You know, and we've got huge numbers on the TikTok right now. But instead of drinking sherbets, just come on to sorts of Scottish, you know, definitely. Absolutely. Done. There's Angela saying King William was a great monarch who brought peace. You know, You've just been commemorating know, a battle. How peaceful was the Battle of the Boyne? Scotty, if you're going to come on Scotty McClusha having a, sh a couple of sherbets, you're not going to enjoy the... No, you're not going to enjoy the banter. Definitely. It, it, there will be, but there is banter when they've had a few drinks, though, sometimes. Sometimes. Like they were on, like they were on old, old call, it, old phone in, so back in the day on radio. Ah, they used to come on with a light refreshment. When, when you used to be saying to... Uh, <laughs> And all, and all that. Do you remember the one we used to do back to say, oh, come on, Scotty. <laughs> and then you went into that drinking mode. <laughs> As I was Brilliant. <laughs> we used to give them all that nonsense. Absolutely fantastic. Great. Now then, how are you today? Are you all right? Did you have a bit of football yeah. today? Yeah, I've been to football today and... It's uh, didn't go our way, but well, uh, yeah, listen, you can't win them all, Glenn. No, you can't. yeah, it was this Wednesday. 
you get one or two passionate fans, you know, been watching in a long time. Yeah. And you're supporting the same team, but you get conflicts within the same fan base. I'll tell you what makes me laugh about these guys. They're all managers. So they stand up in the middle right in front of you. Uh, you know, when there's a bit of going, go, get him off, we've told you this oh, for weeks. Absolutely diabolical and all that. It's like, <laughs> there's, there are, there are, this one that we sit, to, sit in front on it, on, in court, on court, and he's like, look at all the space he's got there. So they are, get all formations. They're giving it all that, aren't they? <laughs> My mate told me he got taken to a game first time, right? And he's a big guy. And he stood yeah. up and cheered when his team won. And this guy behind goes, oh, sit down, Mr. Blobby. Right? Yeah. So he turns around and he says, shut up, fish face. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> shut up, I fish can't. face. You, you, you can't, they look at the, everybody's an individual when they're at ground, are they? Even though they're yeah. supporting the same thing. And it's a bit like broadcasting. Everybody is a programme controller, what's right for telly, what's yeah. right for radio. I used to get this, a guy phoned one night, he says, they want to get you off this, he said, you, you're so rude to... I said, hey, I says, hang on, you're, li you're listening, aren't you? Well, of course I am. He says, why are you listening? Well, it's a bloody good programme. He said, if they got decent presenter... Even in life, what you do, you're, you're in the IR, yeah. He's giving it all that, you know? You know, yeah. even when you, even when you're out and about and you're representing yourself, yeah, you, you're still in the public eye, aren't you? They're giving it all that all the time, you know. You're, you're, you're still on show, aren't you? You're yeah, still... you're, you're always on. You're always on show, but I mean, it doesn't matter because what you see with me is what you get. Uh, I'd love to go around the supermarket with you, guys. Oh, you'd have a right laugh. Yeah, absolutely brilliant. Do you like bargains and that? Well, first thing. All bargains, all yellow label. Yeah. The only trouble is you've then got to go and eat it before it goes off. <laughs> no, all yellow label, but um, but all the bargains. First thing, you come with me to the supermarket, yeah. is you get uh, the security guard comes up for a chat. Yeah. He goes, how are we doing, Scotty? All right. Been hearing the phone in, you know. So that's first thing. And then uh, I go around and chat to all the assistants, you know. Hello, oh, lovely, yeah. nice to see you. All that. <laughs> there is, aye, aye, so quite That's good what? from that point. Of view. And then I met me mate once in the supermarket, and he looks and that happened to have filled the trolley that day. He goes, Who's coming to start with you? Oh, you, everybody wants to come to start with this guy. They then start picking up things like your mustard, and they're hey. going, Full grain mustard. I don't think I know you anymore. What you tend to do though when you go to the supermarket though, you've got an idea of what you want to buy, then you want to buy, then you go and just buy random stuff, don't you? You do, you just buy random stuff. I you mean, you end up going over the trolley load of stuff you don't actually need. I mean, they always put the chocolates on the front, don't they? Always that. You think, I wouldn't mind a little bit of chocolate actually now that I'm standing you, here. Or if you go into a certain shop, they say, is there anything I can uh, anything uh, that takes your fancy kind of thing? No. This is this is just as you're being this is just as you're paying for a couple of items. I'm, I remember is going it, to get some laces for boots, and the guy didn't have the right size. He had long ones. Yeah. And he said, "I said they're a bit long, them." And he goes, "Well, you can always take a bit off them." And I told me dad this, and he goes, "Yeah, but they never sell you one." No, most definitely not. <laughs> and I you could have it. You like the bargain online, though? Yeah, well, nowadays I've, I've started looking online at some things. Never used to bother yeah. with any of that, but during lockdown, like I thought, handed, like, I need a couple of things here, like some socks and stuff. So you just go yeah, on, they, and then the next thing, they pop them through the letterbox. These, you know? certain, these certain companies, though, I'm not mentioning no names. No names. They have entertainment packages on delivery. Oh. Are they, you know, to watch to stream stuff. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, what's what's that? I mean, they're not set to one simple criteria now, are they? No, but what they should be doing is screening Scotty McClure. On this on their franchise, yeah, definitely. That's it, screen Scotty McClure with, live on that. Thank you do. Subscribe to subscribe to it every day a week. And everybody should say, Alexa, 
play Scotty McClue on YouTube. Definitely. It's mandatory. Mandatory. Love, I'll have to go and it'll be mandatory. I'll be getting I'm dumped. Scotty, Scotty, I think if um, you'd be welcome in this whole service, you know, going into a supermarket and you come in and Scotty's just stood there just having a, a good old chin while promoting some stuff. We always have a chat. I think, Scotty, if, if people don't know who you are, nah. I don't know what planet they've been on for the last 30 years. What are yeah. they playing at? That's what I say. Hey, Dinky Doola. Take it easy, guys. Top man. Ta la There's our Glenn. How amazing. Now, TikTok, lots of super things. Close relationship with the Catholic Church. Uh, the Hooligans, that's what it's about. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? It's Jerry. Jerry, how are we tonight, La? Yeah, very good, as always. As and always? Tired, but uh, listening by and watching. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. You're just observing. Yeah. Now, what very are you much. thinking? What about today? What about today? What's happening? Yeah. And we've got a couple of big questions. Yes, Jerry. Big questions. Questions. Do we, do we pay too much for the licence fee? Well, I think we do. How much Not is it now? Is it 160? It's 160 pounds. Is that right? Um, Have I got that right? Yeah. You've got it right. Yeah. Now, uh, I would say that uh, with repeats from the BBC, but with soaps, EastEnders, River City, Holby, and the, we already have a casualty. But you've got Sue Barker, who obviously uh, was booted out the door, but you come at a certain age, sometimes that happens, doesn't it? Well, sometimes so you can be booted out the door from the media any time. Well, exactly, because... Uh, there's an age limit as well from the BBC, it seems. Well, so, the BBC used to be... A, I don't think there's an age limit for performers, but the BBC, because you see, you can get people like... Do you remember George Burns, the comedian? Yeah. I'm sure George must have been touching 100. Yeah. You know? And I, I can't remember if he did any of the BBC, but I think staff-wise... The BBC used to throw you out at 60. Uh, but I noticed uh, a senior guy got till he was nearly 70. Well, you, you know, uh, but, but more, as you say, performers are different. Maybe staff. And Sue Barker has done her rounds all the years she's presented programmes. Well, she's fantastic. And, I mean, I'm not going to uh, single out particular people. No, 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 no. But the moment BBC Three takes over... Monday to Thursday after the news at 10, where um, you look at uh, BBC as well, they pay, oh, sorry, they can't pay for sports, right? Sky controls that. You're right. BBC News must cost a fortune. And then GB News, they go on about Jeremy Vine's um, uh, his salary. You know, that it makes more money than... Uh, well, no, I'm not... Jerry, I'm going to stop you there because I'm not going to get into uh, individual presenters. Oh, I'm no. not going to get right. into okay. salaries. Okay. I'm not right. going to get into any uh, names or anything like that because right. okay. that's not what we're about on here. So if right. you're asking, is the BBC licence fee value for money, then what is the answer to that? Well, that's what we'll ask for tonight. We'll ask you know, I'm just pinpointing different programmes, soaps and BBC News. Also, uh, you know, BBC Three takes over the schedule after half past ten. Now, another big question, as I say, two questions for tonight. GB News is uh, talking about a new programme or a new programme, a news programme with Murdoch. But tell me this, if um, he approaches you, Right? Yeah. Right? I thought you'd left me. No, no. If Mr. Murdoch approaches you mm -hmm. in the next couple of days with a big offer, mm -hmm. do you, how much will you, or will he have to pay you to take your programs? 
There, there's a thought. Absolutely. Well, as I've always said, if you're starting a new radio or television station, Scotty McClure should be your first port of call. That's right. But, you know, he's grabbing these big names, right, for his news programme. Murdoch seems to be the big thing at the moment. Right. And so I won't mention any presenters he's grabbed. No, I'll, I'll have a look program. into all this, Jerry. That's very good of you right. to point it out. I mean, I've worked but, for Mr Murdoch before. Aye, but <laughs> you won't put a finger on if he approaches you and say, right, your programme's doing really well, we'll grab it. You say, yes or no, the money, the big money... Well, who knows? It depends what's involved in the offer. I uh, I don't look at stuff. I never, ever start with money. I look at what's involved in it and what do I think that I could do for that person. And then we would talk, in that case, would you be willing to exchange some coin of the realm? <laughs> right. Are you with me? But I never, uh, ever, ever start with money because if you said... The money is on the table, there's no problem. And I thought, no, I don't think I can deliver that actual worth. Mm -hmm. But you see, what, what I say to people, tell me more about your power, your transmitters, what platforms you're on, blah, blah, blah. And then I make a decision if I'm willing to be involved in it or not. Do you think uh, other guys who he approaches have the same, you know... I don't know, Jerry, because I'm not other guys. I haven't a clue how any other broadcaster negotiates. I only know how I negotiate, and it's a conversation. And if well, they say, can you come in and see us, then obviously there's an interest there, and we get in, and then I ask the questions, the important questions at the first meeting, not about how are you and how's the family and all that. That's all over within a first few seconds. What platforms are you on? What power are your transmitters? What are you hoping to gain here? What do you want to do with this project? And then I'll say either, right, I'm interested or include me out. You know, now I don't have anything to prove. And I'm quite happy so, building up my phone in on here. Well, that is good. And also, we just repeat again, do we pay too much for the licence fee? And also, where, how much is Scotty worth? Ah. To go around the world. There's the question. Lovely to hear you, Jerry. <laughs> and we're going around the world right now. Ah, uh, exactly. I'm, I'm spinning. We're already doing it. Dinky doola. Thank you, do. Thank you, do. Right, there we go. That's Jenny asking all about that. How very interesting. Now, if you've just joined us, a very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClue. We are, of course, live. I can't believe we've been up for almost half an hour. Uh, we're live on TikTok, Mr. Goatface. Thank you for your kindness. It's all the hooligans. Thank you, Mr. Goatface. So there we are. Um, I agree the ones that cause the trouble and bother on the walks are non-educated delinquents. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hello? Ah, Scotty McClue. Who's that? Oh, it's Andy. Andy, lovely to hear from you. Dinky-doo. Dinky-doo, Scotty. Where's the love of a lassie of the big switchboard? The love of a lassie of the big switchboard isn't with I've me yet. I've been trying for ages to try and get through to you. I know. We've been busy, busy, busy tonight. Oh, as always, Scotty, as always. But you're here now, and that's what matters. Eventually, I've been trying all week to try and get through to you. I know, it's, it has been very busy. Uh, popular man like you, first lord of internet, world's top broadcaster. Well, yes. we're, we're just, do, we're just starting, clean. Andy. I mean, we're something like, I think, is this our third week now? Oh, uh, it's going to be massive. Going Three to be weeks massive, old, Scotty. but it will be very, very big. I changed the title of the YouTube channel today. To uh, Scotty McClue, the internet phone in. Oh, Hashtag float I. Wonderful. Um, what's happened to the, the radio? Are we just giving it a. a, a well, eye the or? radio, uh, the last time I was on the radio was about a year ago, and they wanted to radio? do. 
love songs. Yeah. So we let them and do their love songs. Yeah. Um, I thought you were going to be live in Tenerife. We go ah, live yes, in well, Tenerife for long and a long time, and we thought we were going to hear the, the world stop broadcaster in Tenerife. Well, listen, you never know what the future might bring. Well, here's hoping. Um, the world is my lobster at the moment. <laughs> good stuff, good stuff. Scotty, Scotty, do you not find radio so boring these days? Well, I personally do because the the big companies have bought up all the local stations, virtually yep. taken every ounce of localness out of them, yep. taken away all the personality presenters, and are turned able, it into are, a jukebox. On YouTube, are we able to uh, mention radio stations? Or no, that... we'll not. We'll not do that because you know that sort of starts directing um, things. Right. So I'd rather we didn't do that because then we can say more. Yeah. You know? It's so frustrating when you're, you're, you're driving from Edinburgh, Glasgow, Perth, Dundee. Well, listen, if you remember, Andy, do you remember Scott FM? Oh, 100.3 to 101 FM. Yeah, 100.3 and 101. And now, um, it's a music station now. Now, Scott FM, without a shadow of doubt, and this is why I went with it, because when I came to Scott FM... They hadn't started doing business. They were still new and they yep. weren't doing much business. But I had a look at the power for the transmitters, where they were situated, etc. The management, two ITV stations. I thought this is perfect. This is the biggest opportunity in Scottish radio ever. And that includes yep. the launch of Clyde <laughs> and Forth. And I, I thought, no, no, this 10 is... To, 10 to 1 on Scott FM, night, weeknight. 10 to 1. Now, everybody loves Scott mid, FM mid, because Andy it did mid. the news. It did superb music. They had yep. personality presenters. You could phone oh, in and talk to the presenters. They would take your call. It had uh, speech radio. It had phone-ins. It had, it had a discussion. It had sport. Massive yep. sports stuff. The worst decision they made was when they moved you to the mid-morning show. Well, no, I don't I don't agree, and I'll tell you for why. It might not have been good for me because it got the backs up of the other stations because it was virtually tearing the heart out of their market and giving it on a plate to Scott FM. But right. what it did do, I, I found at night time the audience was round about the 200,000 mark. We doubled it during the day. Really? I didn't want to go on during the day, but it doubled the audience from the nights. It was a night it was a nightmare when you were when you were working during the day and you couldn't listen to you. I know. You we had sales reps going out for messages. We had folks got up to all sorts to pinch a wee bit of the phone in. Ah, but Scotty, at that point you only had to be fat thunderheads and uh, the old fat housewives. Yes, the old fat housewives. Morning. But I'll tell you a funny one day, Andy, the motorway, something must have gone wrong. And the motorway was stopped dead. The whole M8, from Edinburgh to Glasgow, nothing was moving. So a guy phoned us, he says, Heaven's sake, Scotty, we're stuck in the M8, man. Tell us a joke, blah, blah, blah. I said, if everybody, anybody who's listening to Scotty McClure in the M8, can you toot your horn? And then it went berserk. Really? Yes. All we could hear was horns. Beep, 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 beep. So they're all listening. Uh, I, was, I was never able to listen to you in the morning. It was oh, the mornings the morning. were huge. It was, I the, loved the show at nine. It was great. And then I listened to you on QFM, Nation Radio, um, you know, followed you all, all over the place. It's, it's a travesty that you're not on, on air just now. Well, we should and be, that's, actually, that's but fantastic. This is fantastic. I think what we'll do is we'll build up the internet side of things and then if anybody wants it, it's up to them. Yeah. It doesn't no. actually put me up nor down. I mean, Jerry no, was no. asking about Mr. Murdoch's new project. I'm always interested in anything to do with communication. I'm surprised there was a, one of you, you'll probably know a, a good colleague of yours, that was on the breakfast show at Scott FM. Yes. Um, managing director of a, a new Scottish radio station that yes. seems to have no filters. Yes. Can they not get you on for a couple of nights? I think it would be a fantastic... Who knows? Fantastic Who thing, knows you know? what the future brings? As I say, 
with, with the lockdown and the pandemic, people, you know, have been working from home and all sorts of things. So, you know, people haven't actually been doing the business the way they could do business. So who knows what the future brings? Yeah. Oh, well, it's, it's great to hear you back on, back on well, a, 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 a different platform, but, you know... It's, it's, it's a different hear. platform, but remember, yeah. Andy, we're, we're something like three weeks old. There's not been a problem. I mean, some poor old news channel had a real car crash of a launch. Everything's yeah. gone very, very smoothly for me here. Yeah. And uh, it's it's just amazing. And I would say if we press on doing what we're doing, the audience will come. Build and they will come. Oh, definitely, definitely. As yeah, God said to Noah about the ark, build your ark and the animals will come. 100%, 100%. It's really good to hear you back. Andy, a real privilege back. talking to you and thanks so much for your call. I appreciate it. Not a problem. I'll speak to you again soon, Scotty, hopefully. Absolutely, and dinky-doo. You take care. Take care, Lala. All the there we are. You All do. the best to you, son. Oh, There's bye Andy. Bye -bye. Fantastic. Bye bye. What a great guy. That was very, very interesting, and he remembers all the radio stuff. If you've just joined us, a very warm welcome. If you're watching on TikTok, you're joining us for the phone in. Thank you. And uh, who have we got here? Let's see what's happening here. I'm trying to see if I can get you going. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hello, Scotty. It's Suzanne. Suzanne, darling, how lovely to hear from you. I was very upset with you last week because you said, I'll phone in, Scotty, but I don't want to appear thick. How could you ever oh. appear thick? Oh, I've, I've not got really any interest in it. Who's like told you, thought, Suzanne, who tells you this support. rubbish? It's lovely to hear from you, and I'm so glad that you've picked your phone up. I know, I know. It's great, and you and I are chatting. You, I'm talking to you, Suzanne, and you're talking to Scotty McClue. What's not to like? Well, I just want to say, I've been, I've been listening to you since the first night. Wow. So, um, what, why are you thinking about it? Why am I thinking about what? Why are you thinking about the phone in? How do you feel it's shaping up okay? I, it's getting better and better every night. Yeah. Every night is, is to, to hear you back on. So I, I know what we need to do, Suzanne, is get the word out there so that everybody realises it's on. Uh-huh. You know, because I um, know everybody appreciates a Scotty McClue phone in. Well, I used to listen to you when, well, when you were on Scott FM, so... 20, 27 years ago. I know, I know. <laughs> I think you're old. Um, it's just, it's brilliant, brilliant listening. I don't even watch the telly anymore. You don't need to. You'll get all the entertainment, information and education you need on here. Yeah, I don't even watch telly. I, 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 I go, go through, through my there. telly and there is genuinely, genuinely... I've got all these channels. There's nothing I want to watch. No, I'm saying, I'm saying, I've got Netflix and Sky and everything else. There's and nothing I'm, I I'm want to watch. Every month, and I don't ever watch anything. No, well, you'll get this for free. Scotty McClure's free. Yeah, and you need to stay on YouTube or the radio. Yes, YouTube or the radio. Yeah, one or the other. One or the I'm other, or part. both. Definitely not going to the telly. I won't watch it. Don't telly. go to the I'm telly. Okay, go. Well, I'll tell you what I thought, Suzanne. Going to one of the telly companies and saying to them, one hour on a Friday night, say 11 till midnight, something like that, we'll take phone calls, we'll do discussions, we'll take texts, we'll take emails, we'll, we, you know, we'll, we'll have guests. Mm -hmm. That would be massive. It would, it would, you reach so much more people and even though everybody's trying to share and let everybody know that you're back on I mean it's, it's a lot of work isn't it when, when you're typing in URLs and everything uh -huh. it takes a long time I mean a nice big transmitter a big throaty transmitter that everyone can hear Scotty McClure and see him that's what we're uh -huh. wanting oh uh, well, it's just it's great to have you back on Scotty and you know, it's like, there's no elves and graces with people in here. There's no, no snobs. We're all, Proper we're people. All one big family. Genuine people, Suzanne. Folk like yourself. The salt of the earth. Yeah, 
Uh, we're, we're all the McClure family. The McClure family. Can you see? Are you? Can you see me right now? Or are you on your phone? I, I've got you on the telly because Kareem said I could put um. Aye. Put it connect from my phone to the TV. So do, I see your mug. Do you see my mug? It's bigger than my I've head. I've had them in your face. I see that as well. Massive. We love it. It's what you call a bucket of tea. Oh, I've got my tea as well. It's a shame you can't see it. Absolutely. Angel, that's been a privilege having you on. Don't leave it so long next time. Come on for a wee blather. I will do. And so remember, even. you're a very smart lady. No. Yes. No, you won't get any intelligence from me. I'll just We've listen. just had intelligence flowing out of you. No, no. Fantastic. <laughs> Love you lots. Thanks, Suzanne. You as well, Scotty. Hey, Bye. Dinky do, Angel. Bye just now. What a top lady. That is wonderful. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hello? Hello? Hello, who's that? Hello, this is Scott. This is Danny calling. Danny Dinky Doo, how are you? I'm very well, how are you? Yeah, better for hearing you. Cool, well, I'm calling from London. Wow. You're watching <laughs> me in Londinium. I love it. Hello? You there, Danny? Danny from London. It's gone. Seems to have gone on hold. I don't know what's happened there. He'll maybe give us a call back, but that's fantastic. Welcome, welcome, guys. Lovely to have you with us. If you've just joined us, a very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClue, the first lord of the internet. Hashtag Flutai. This is the internet phone-in. And we're on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, 9 till 10. Friday, Saturday, 10 till 11. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hi, I'm Scotty. I'm getting the second call in here. Oh, good for you, Glenn. Quite right and all. Nice one. I, okay. like, I like the way you've set everything out with all fogs and that, you know. Is it all right? I think it's brilliant. Yeah. And you've got all the information there. You've set all, you've done all that. You've done a great job of that anyway. Is that all right? All the information along the bottom? Yeah, I think it's fantastic, yeah. Yeah, it looks okay, does it? Yeah, it was pretty good, yeah. Good, that's excellent, Glenn, because it just lets people know what we do and how to get in touch. Just come to it straight to the point, Scotty. You yeah. know, none of your nonsense, none of your fancy stuff, none of your music, yeah. none of your trailers, all that stuff. Yeah. Just Scotty McClure's here. Give him a call. Don't get me wrong, you could have, you could chat it up a bit if you wanted to. You oh, know, like, defo, uh, defo. But we, we, that's for the future. The trick is to get on... And then see what's what. Like emboss text and that, like, put it in. Yeah, and then if everybody goes, Scotty, we're all going to send you a tenner. I think, yeah. right, thanks, I can spend that on the show. Nice one. <laughs> I mean, when, when you come to think about, you know, like, in interval, like, when the film's coming on, like, when you're wanting to watch a really exciting film, when you see a trailer. Yeah. Put the Scotty McClough phone in. Fantastic. Don't miss it, otherwise you'll just, you'll miss a day, like, you'll you miss the most important days of your life. If you Absolutely, don't. you miss a second of McClure, you miss a moment of life. Yeah, these film companies, they'd, they'd have a field day with you, Scott. They'd love all that, right in the middle of it. I'll tell you, you used to do cinema advertising with Century Radio. Yeah. Somebody said, I, I, it came up, and I said, I knew you were on because we're watching at the pictures. I said, wow. Like, like I said, getting the production team onto it. Uh, yeah, yeah. And I'll tell you what else they had with Century. It was brilliant. They are talking bus stops all over Manchester and Liverpool. Oh, brilliant. So you walk past a bus stop and it, it triggered it, right, the, the photo cell. And it yeah. said, here, what are you doing there? Scotty McClure, just for you. And they were turned right, yes, you, I'm talking to you. <laughs> some, some food chains, when you put your rubbish in a bin, they do it in... In certain shopping centres. Right, and you get a bit of a chat then. <laughs> I don't, your, uh, I don't think I want to be associated with a rubbish bin. Putting your food in bin, though, and, uh, you know, when you're throwing your rubbish away. Yeah. It's good for kids, isn't it? Hey, absolutely. Um, absolutely, have Glenn. Seen, have you ever <coughs> seen uh, a comedy called Off the Rockers? The, the, old, the old people and that. No, I, I don't think I've seen that one. And uh, 
some X60 play on Youngins. Yeah. Uh, it's out of this world, Sky. Is it good stuff? But, uh, it's, it's, a, it's amazing stuff. I mean, I don't think Cage comes with. Uh, I think Cage is just a number anyway, Sky, to be honest. Ah. Because uh, it can be as entertaining as you want to, as if, but it's just, it's just experience, isn't it? It's experience, that's what it's all about. You, you, mature, you mature like a fine wine. Yeah, that's what it's all about, la. Because uh, look at these actors, these fantastic actors, yourself included, obviously. I thank you. But uh, these actors, these younger generation actors can learn a lot from these more experienced Oh, like of course you can. Like of course you can, absolutely. The th what's interesting when you get very experienced actors working on something and the young actors have never heard of them. Definitely. You I know, mean, and I remember some girl in one of the soaps saying to a very experienced actor, oh, well, this must be good experience for you. One of the finest actresses in, in Scotland is going to be June Brown, isn't it? Ah, oh, she's wonderful. She knows Scotty yeah. McClure, you know. Oh, does she? Uh, a friend of mine knows June very, very well, and I remember she did a voice of it said, Oh, hello, dinky do to that Scotty McClue. She's been in uh, Coronation Street as well, I think, hasn't she? She's wonderful. Wonderful. She's the lights. Absolutely. My when dear man, I'm going to have to dash Scott, because. You know, when you, when you uh, worked in Granada, near Granada. Yeah. Did you. Uh, I popped in. Uh, you popped into Rovers then? Yeah, yeah. He used to pop in and see them. You can actually go and get a tour around the street. You, you can, yes. Yeah, it was all there I mean, because it was all right right on Granada's doorstep. Fantastic. I bet it's a fantastic experience, though, to go Oh, yeah. Well, I didn't manage to get on it because I was always working. But yeah. um, but I used to pop up and see them at Granada Television. You, you, would have, you would have landed a gig on that show if you'd have wanted to. I go, think so. You? I think so. 100%. You'd have been better than Roy Hood. Oh, I don't know about that, but listen, that, you don't you know, know what the future holds, Glenn. I, I, could, I could have seen you as uh, John Savard and Fred Elliott. Fred Elliott, maybe owning one of the shops. Checking over some owls. Ab absolutely, that's because, it. What can I get you, you love? You don't, you, don't, you don't need Dev, you've got Scottish, and you'll be working alongside... Uh, all these wonderful Tyrone's, people. Tyrone's, Tyrone's nerds. Absolutely. Listen, I'm going to have to dash, love. Nice one, Scott. Hey, dinky do. Are you on tomorrow, Scott? Eh? Uh, no, not tomorrow. Uh, Monday night, nine o'clock. You're putting your feet up for a well-earned rest, aren't you? Well, you've got to have one night a week, you know what I mean? You've, you've got to keep it fresh, I you? Keep it fresh, I always say, lad. Dinky do. Nice one, Scott. Nice yeah. one. Top man, that's our Glenn. Second call of the night he's had, actually. Lovely to have you with us, folks. Dinky Doo, where can I send a donation? Larrick Guy, you're very, very kind. Now, I think uh, on the YouTube, if you go onto the YouTube channel, you'll get some details for paypal.me forward slash Scotty McClue. You live on Scotty's phone in, who's that? Oh, nobody. <laughs> Must be somebody. Fantastic. I think they panic. You need a PA, McClure. Of course we do. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Thank you. It's Scotty McClure. How are you? Hello. Who's that? Scotty. in there. I'm a man. Who's that? Have you got a first name? Kevin. Kevin? Yeah. Yes. Lovely to have you with us. Facebook and... You what, that? Hello? You there, Kevin? Hello, Kevin. Right, we can't hear him. Poor love. There we go. Thank you. Not very clear. Um, to the telephones as quickly as possible. Don't you wear a hackle, says Geodog. Uh, no, we don't wear a hackle with this one, Geodog. Uh, there's Shay saying you're not funny. Well, we never said we were. So I don't know where you got that from. There we are. Lovely to have you with us. And Dinky Doo. There's obviously one or two, always there's one or two wee trolls. Come on, dinky do. No, Peter, we don't go any of that. We just say dinky do. There we are. Lovely to have with us. Scotty says Abby. Hello, Abby. And a very warm welcome on TikTok. Lovely to have you with us. If you've just joined us on the phone in, then we've got 10 minutes left. Use it well and use it wisely. We've been discussing 
Glasgow today played host to the Orange Walk. And the question we're asking is, <coughs> pardon me, is the Orange Walk a thing of the past? Do tell us. A wee sip of tea now. A little bit of housekeeping. If you're on YouTube, can you follow me and tap the bell to get your notifications when Scotty McClue goes live? If you're on Twitch, then um, can you go to Scotty underscore McClue and follow me on Twitch? Very, very important. We're building up Twitch. Love it, says Peter. No problem, Peter. Not a problem at all. Dinky Doo from Drum Chapel, says the wonderful Scott Fraser in Drum Chapel in Glasgow. Lovely to have you with us, Scott, and a very warm welcome to Scotty McClure's phone in, the internet phone in. That's what it's going to be known as from now on. But who is Scotty McClure? Scotty McClure is me. Hashtag float I, the first lord of the internet. I don't think it'll ever be a thing of the past. Bigots are eternal. Well, I don't know, Peter. I mean, what would Jesus think of the Orange Walk? And King William was a very, very bad man and a very poor king. So, you know, I mean, are we representing the wrong person here? You know, should we have had James II? I ask you. Although Queen Anne was pretty bad news as well. And she was a steward. Uh, but remember when uh, the Battle of the Boyne, when King William came over, Scotland was an independent country. So King William isn't really anything to do with Scotland, you know, but I suppose we'd had the Union of the Crown. So I suppose, yes, he was. Sorry, I'll take that back. He was actually the King of Scots as well. I miss Diana Rink, says Chris. Absolutely, Chris. Outstanding actress. What's this channel about, says Dylan. It's about communication, Dylan. It's about phone in. Uh, we bring in the TikTokers. We can't include them as a platform in the phone in, but we do pop up so that everybody on TikTok can share the phone in. It makes sense. I need you in my life. Brilliant, sir. Missed you from Scott FM. Thank you, dear Keith. How lovely to have you with us. And welcome, welcome, welcome to Scotty McClure's phone in. We're live across the internet. We're on YouTube, Twitch. Facebook and LinkedIn. Uh, so there we go. Larry Guy. Larry Guy, Scotty McClue, just so that you know. McClue's Kingdom, Dinky Doo. Absolutely, Chris. Wonderful stuff. Now, what else have we got happening on here? There's a bit of change for you. Just to let you know what's happening, I shall pop up with that one. Can you see that one across the bottom of your screens? How amazing is that? And we are on it. Absolutely. Wonderful stuff. Come and join us on the phone. Aid. Telephone number 01416897795. If you've been ringing and ringing and ringing all night and you haven't been able to get through, then there's a line free right now. 01416289795. There we are. Angela, we don't know what was going on there. We haven't uh, heard any more about that. Why do you have the hat on? Uh, because it keeps my head nice and warm. There we are. What's your thoughts on the LGBTQ community? I think probably the LGBTQ community should be LGBTQS to include straight people. Because people in LGBT community, LGBTQ community are wanting inclusion. They want to be included. So I would say in that case, bring in and explain to them what you're all about and get a higher level of understanding. There we are. What regiment's the hat, mate? Argyle and Sutherland Highlanders. There's Louise. Louise says, M-E-G-A, -E make America great again. I think the Donald's coming back. You're live on Scottish phone in, is that? Oh. Nobody writes. <laughs> Somebody seeing if the line works. Yes, it does. So feel free to come on and just build up your confidence. You know, don't let your bottle go at the last moment. Come on and have a chat with Scotty McClue. Uh, you know, it's just, uh, we're just a bloke across the internet. You know what I mean? 
America. Yes, absolutely, Chris. Fantastic stuff. Yes, I, what I was saying to you, I think America would like the Donald to come back. What do you reckon? So there we are. Tell us what you think on the TikTok. Would you like Donald Trump to be the next president of the United States? There we are, because there's a fair chance. When we looked at when the mainstream media was torn out of everything, it looked like they'd turned on the Donald and he was doing a pretty good job. Morrison says no. So there we are. Well, well, Morrison, no. Yes, bring back the Donald, says Louise. Absolutely. I think that's what you want in America. You're live on Scotty's phone in, is that? Hello? Oh, somebody shuffling about, panicked. There we are. Don't panic, guys. You've nothing to panic about. Don't let your bottle go. Come on and have a wee chat. If you're ringing, then go through with it. That's what I would say to you. Don't panic at the end. Go, oh. You know, it's that sort of idea, isn't it? Yes, bring back the Donald, says everyone. Doddy says, hello again, Scotty. Hello, Doddy. I'd like to see a better candidate for the Republican Party. Right. So there we are. But can you get a better candidate than the Donald? Was he not actually an outstanding putus when you look at what you've got just now? Chris says America's always been great and still is. That's why it takes a beating and still keeps ticking. I tried calling in, but the call went weird. Ah, Doddy, right. Well, maybe you just hadn't got your kit turned down when I shouted hello. So that was Doddy calling in, guys. And his call went weird. <laughs> there we are. You're live and Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hello? Hello? Hello. Hello. Who's that? Who's yeah. that? First name. Hi, hello. Hi, have you got a first name? Uh, I, I'm Patrick. 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 That's all we need to know. How are you? Hi, Patrick, bro. Patrick, bro. Excellent. Excellent. Lovely to hear Hi. you. I'm not bad. How's yourself? Very well. Very well, Patrick. Thanks for calling Hi. in. You too. I've, I've been watching your streams for a while now. Are you enjoying it? No worries, bro. I'll catch you after, right? Absolutely, Patrick. Top man. I'd like to see if they can find one. I prefer not to dwell on one candidate and make it fair. Trump is Churchill reincarnated. I think Trump might even be better than Churchill. Do you know what I mean? You're live with Scotty's phone in, is that? Hi, Scotty. That's Pat. Pat Dinky Doo. How are we, Scotty? We're very well better for hearing you. I'm um, just calling to see if you've ever uh, watched this programme, Trolling Men on Dave. Yes. Fantastic show, Scotty. Wonderful courage, these guys. Yes, I, I like Jimmy Buckingham from the ship, Amity. Yes, wonderful courage. He's got an online fishing store now. Fantastic. Where you can buy the product. We like that. Do you like fish, Scotty? What's your favourite kind of fish? My favourite kind of fish, I think, would probably be going for the haddock. Haddock, you can't beat some haddock, especially a, from the chippy. A nice bit of haddock from the chippy, Pat. That's what I say. Oh, yes. Golden, golden, golden crispy batter. Oh, stop, man, or I'll be wanting a fish tea. Oh, you should go and get one tomorrow with some mushy peas. Mushy peas, dinky do. Pat, thanks very much for your call. I'm going to have to dash. Right, guys, I'm saying bye-bye to the TikTokers. Dinky-doo. Good night. God bless.